Oh, hey, new range of features with even further improved safety. That's what the new Liberty 2021 edition offers. So let's explore it in more detail. So welcome to the 18th episode of CCR Liberty in detail. Let's dive into it. We have had a detailed look at the features of the Liberty's head in our third episode, but there are some more exciting functions that the 2021 edition brings, and those actually make the unit even more comfortable to use and also a lot safer to use. So let's go and have a look at what those are. So the first feature that the 2021 edition brings is significantly improved battery life. So in the dive mode, the time has extended from the previous 12 hours to plus 30 hours now. And in the standby mode, the time has extended from about 30 days to about 11 months. So before, when you charge your Liberty, the Liberty would last on charge in standby mode for about a month. Uh, nowadays, the, in the 2021 edition, the unit will last up to 11 months to a full depletion of the batteries. So the second feature that the 2021 edition brings is air integration. So we have our transmitters that are connected to the first stage regulators, and those are actually sending their signal into the head, and you're able to read the pressure that is in your cylinders on your handset. So this actually makes the unit much easier to use, and it also makes it safer. And I'm going to show you now what I mean. So there are two ways that the pressure can be displayed and you can choose either one of them or both of them. So you can either choose to have bar graph so that will be displayed instead of your solenoids or you can choose to see the actual exact um, values of your oxygen and your diluent and those would be displayed instead of your time and your CNS. So let's have a look at what those look like. So this is how the pressures are displayed when selected to be shown as bar graph. So this is our detailed screen. Over here, you can actually see our bar graph, including the actual exact values of your diluent and oxygen. If you decide that you would like to have your pressure displayed in exact values and not in bar graph, this is what the screen would look like. And if you would decide to have the option of both, then you can change it to having both as well. So you just go into the menu, you change it here to all, and you can see your bar graph and you can see the exact values as well. The screen remains unchanged. Where you will also be able to see your pressure is in the pre-dive check menu. We have added another page where you can see your starting pressure when the timeout timer starts and also your final pressure when the timer ends. This way you're able to detect leaks within the system from your cylinders. So it's also another safety feature that you can do um, during your pre-dive check. The next spot where you can see the pressure in your cylinders is when you go into your dive checklist. So on the first page of your checklist, uh, on the bottom, we have our diluent displayed and the exact pressure in our diluent cylinder. When we move on to the next page where we do our checks for oxygen, we can see our current pressure of our oxygen cylinder. So what air integration actually also allows us to do, which is very important for your safety, and that is to see if you were accidentally getting or were trying to get in the water with a closed oxygen cylinder. So when you enter the dive mode and the solenoid tries to add oxygen into the system and the pressure of oxygen drops, the unit will notify you about it by displaying a red warning message and the handset vibrating on your hand. So you will very soon find out that the pressure of your oxygen has dropped and something is going on and that you need to check your oxygen cylinder again. 
Tracking your oxygen consumption throughout the dive actually allows us to calculate an estimate metabolic oxygen consumption throughout the dive. And you can actually see when you go into your dive log menu to see a gas consumption option that you can click on and you can actually see your estimated metabolic consumption of oxygen. The unit checks for the transmitters every five to 10 seconds. And if you do decide to run the unit with air integration, we still recommend you to use your SPGs as well. The next feature that was added is Bluetooth connection. So now you can download your dive logs with ease. All you have to do is just to connect your unit to your computer and either using Microsoft or Mac operating system, connect to the home center and download your logs that way. This feature will also be soon available in our application and you're going to be able to download all the logs straight into the application. You can also use the Bluetooth to update your firmware of your unit and down the track you're going to be able to operate the unit through the DiveSoft app using the Bluetooth function. So you'll be able to do things such as reset of your stack time and eventually also to set up the unit. So to set up your decompression and to set up other things uh, such as settings in your unit and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's move on to the next function. Have you ever asked yourself, wouldn't it be cool if I could record the GPS location of the point where I started submerging? Well, the 2021 edition does that for, that for you automatically. So you don't have to do anything. As soon as you're in a dive mode and you will start submerging, the unit will automatically save your GPS location. So then all you have to do is just go back to your dive lock later on and you see your exact GPS location of the point where you started submerging. The next feature that the 2021 edition offers is also one that improves your safety and that is that the unit now has the ability to detect a failed solenoid in a closed position. So in this event that the, one of your solenoids would stay in a closed position, the unit will actually notify you about it and it would let you know which one of your two solenoids got stuck close and then you can go into the menu and you can manually exclude this solenoid. Moving on to the next feature, to increase your safety even more, a detection of the moisture buildup into the electronics compartment has been added. So this ensures that the unit will notify you if there was a moisture buildup in the electronics compartment, which could potentially mean a leak into the electronics compartment. This situation can, for example, occur if you dropped your unit or if you damaged it in some way and still went diving with it. Then if there was a leakage into the electronic compartment, the unit would let you know about it and you can actually turn around and terminate your dive and return safely back home. You can also see the humidity level in the system check menu of the unit. So this just adds another level of safety on top of the list of safety features that the Liberty platform offers. So let's move on to the last feature that the 2021 edition offers. The unit is ready for future expansion. So the unit has been improved to be ready for adding additional functions in the future and will also be available to be used with other devices such as ODA, optical display adapter, which will be connected instead of your head-up display and which will contain a digital compass, and will be displaying the most important information so they are available right in front of your eye at all times. And that's it for our today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and if you would like to try one of our units please contact one of our instructors and organize a demo dive with them. Don't forget to follow our social networks and for any further information please visit our webpage at divesoft.com or send us an email at info at Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next episode.